Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you how to set up network shares on the WDTV Live. Uh, mine specifically is the SMP version. I haven't tried this with other versions, but I'm just going to assume that it works across the board. I really wanted to make this tutorial because I wasted about three and a half hours trying to figure this out, and that included calling tech support and being kindly asked to call back later because no one at the facility currently knew how to do what I was asking. Alright, so let's go. Okay. The first thing you want to do is uh, go to control panel. You should see network and internet. Click on that. Network and sharing center. Make sure that your network is set to a home type. And then over here on the left side, you'll see change advanced sharing settings. Click on that. And these are the settings that you're going to want. And I'll run down through them all. On network discovery, you're going to want that on. File and printing sharing, you're going to want that on public folder sharing you don't want that off on media streaming you're also gonna want that off I know that's uh, that, that took me a while I had it on for such a long time but you're gonna want it off for file sharing connections you're gonna use the 128 bit encryption password you wanna go ahead and turn password protected sharing off and for the home group connections you're gonna wanna uh, use user accounts and passwords to connect from well to other computers all right, so now that we're done setting up the network portion, we're going to have to actually have a place to keep the files. So uh, we'll go over here, and we'll create a folder. You can create a folder anywhere that you want. Um, the Zstream that you can see right here, that's what I use. Uh, but I want to show you guys exactly what you have to do. So uh, we'll, s we'll name this uh, TF2. And you're going to want to go to the properties of the folder. And you go to security. And then uh, you want to go to advanced. You want to change the permissions, and then uh, see where it says include right down there. You want to click this, and you want to remove. All right, so that removes every single person. So you're going to want to add everyone, and come over here and click check names just to make sure it's okay. Um, with uh, these, you're going to want to put uh, the the Travers list folder, read attributes, read extended and read permissions. So uh, you say OK. And you're going to also add the uh, administrators. Check the name. Uh, that's going to be full control. And you're going to also add yourself, whatever you know your username is. And that's going to be full control as well. So apply, OK, OK. And everything's set up like it should be. Now I'll switch over to the sharing, and you're going to go to advanced sharing, and share this folder. Uh, all the permissions should be exactly as they should. Yeah, just read, and you know, click apply, and that's it. Now you just need to put some media inside there. All right, so I just transferred over a few files, so I can go to my uh, regular camera here in a second and show you what the outcome is. I will say there was uh, one more thing that I had to do. Um, to get this to work because it didn't work when I just set it up like this and uh, I'll tell you that in just a second. Okay, let me show you the other thing that I had to do to get it to work properly. I had to go into setup and then I had to go to system and then you want to go and do a device reset. Uh, you can go ahead and try to go into videos and if it works fine that's cool because uh, you know it might but I had to do a device reset for mine to actually show up. Um, then we'll go out and I'll show you what it actually does. So we'll go into your videos. And mine's going to look a little different than what yours does at first. Um, obviously right there, there's the, the TF2 folder that we created. And um, you can see the different, all the different files that I put are right there. Um, for you, when you first come in here, you're going to, when you select your content source, you'll select Network Share. And then it'll be the, uh, the SMB CIFS. And then it'll be uh, whatever your computer's name is, and then you'll just uh, you'll click OK, and then it, it just it just stores everything. So um, and those are all your shared folders. I mean, you can make more than one. You can put multiple folders in there. Um, obviously, you can see that you can't have pictures on there. I didn't set up pictures. That's a whole different thing, right there. So um, yeah, that's that's how to get your uh, your shared folders on there, and. Um, I said it was it was a big headache and I hope that it can help you guys out.
All right, thank you.